Hello, and welcome to Soulfessions. I'm your host, Molly Ray. To live a life full of joy, happiness, and connection, to connect with our most authentic self, we must be willing to confess where we are in life. I have worked through many traumatic life events, including giving birth to twins three months early. My healing began when I was ready to confess exactly how I was feeling and the work I needed to do to release the pain. I honored my feelings and used my loving connection with music in the healing process. Join me as I speak honestly about my journey and how you can begin your journey of healing and finding joy. It all starts with a soulfession. Hello, it's Molly. I hope you have had a fantastic week, and it is so great to be back with you again this week. Today, I want to talk about truly connecting with our innermost selves. And one of the first ways that we can do this is by asking ourselves, Who am I? So take a minute and ask yourself, who am I? And what words come to mind? This is a great exercise that you could do if you have a favorite journal or just a regular piece of paper. Sit down and write down who am I and write down all of the things that come to your mind. And the important thing when you're asking yourself this and writing the things down is to make sure that you you do not overthink it. Because sometimes when we start to really go in our heads and overthink things, we start to manipulate the truest answer. So it's always important anytime you are doing any work on yourself or any time that you are having any self-realizations or connections, self-connections, you want to make sure that you are not allowing your ego brain to come into play. And what I mean by that Sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. Sometimes we can overthink things. And if something positive comes into our minds about who we think and feel we are, we can sometimes start to overthink that. Or sometimes it doesn't feel right or sit well in our bodies when we give compliments to ourselves. And I know this all too well, learning how to connect with myself and learning how to compliment myself was not something that came easy to me. And I've always had a hard time accepting compliments. I was always extremely hard on myself. And even at a young age, my mom's nickname for me was Ugly. And she claims that this was my nickname because I couldn't take a compliment. So because I would struggle with a compliment, she just thought it was funny to call me Ugly. And this went on for years through, I was mostly, I would say probably fourth, fifth grade, sixth grade maybe seventh, um, in around middle school years, preteen years, you know, those difficult years where we really have a hard time complimenting ourselves because we're so uh, critical. We're seeing what everyone else is doing around us. It's a time in our lives where we're really trying to, f- to even start to begin to figure out who we are. But I have to say that even as an adult, Being able to look at myself 
in the mirror and say things like, I love you, or say things like, I love my hair, or I love my eyes, or I love my smile. It's not something that I just started doing one day and it felt great. It's definitely something that takes practice. It takes practice being able to wear that and to feel good giving the compliment. And I'm saying all of this because I hope that when you say to yourself, who am I? That you're able to see all of the amazing things that you are, that you're able to give yourself permission to give yourself a compliment, to really be honest with who you are and not what other people say you are or not what your ego brain says you are. But really deep down in your heart, who you know and believe you are. And as you take the time to honor you and who you are, I want you to really take a minute, if you've done this on a piece of paper, if you've written this down already, I want you to take a minute and look at all of the things you've written? And what are some things that you put down that really resonate in your soul? What is something that really, truly connected with you? Say the things out loud. Say the words out loud. Just feel how that feels in your body. Give yourself permission to celebrate who you are. So I want to take a minute and do a little bit of a self-awareness exercise with you. If you are finding that trying to connect with who you are, if you're finding that your brain is a little clogged up right now, that you're having a hard time really connecting and being honest with making the list, or if you just want to be able to open up and connect more easily with yourself, let's take a minute and do this breathing exercise and visualization exercise. And this is something that I like to do sometimes with my voice students when they are stressed out and just needing to be able to connect with themselves in their breath in order to be able to open up the throat chakra. Um, It's extremely important that we can open up our throat chakras because that is what allows us to find our voice. And part of finding our voice is the ability for us to be able to speak truthfully and honestly about who we are and how we connect with the world. So let's take a minute, and I want everyone to close their eyes. Close your eyes. And you can be sitting in a comfortable position or laying down. It's definitely not something you want to be doing while you're driving. Wait until you get home. But find find a really comfortable position. And I want you to close your eyes and connect with your breath. And I want you to imagine that the air is going into your nose and down your body, down into the soles of your feet. Feel the oxygen as it enters your body. 
feel the oxygen as it fills up throughout your entire body. And as you're connecting with your breath, I want you to open your eyes and just be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the place that you are currently in. And now I want you to be aware of the amount of space that is around you. And as you take your deep breath in, I want you to fill up the space with your entire being. Imagine your entire essence filling the space that you are in. And now I want you to imagine your entire body, all of the parts and pieces of your body fully connected with one another and moving together in a unit. Everything is working and flowing together. As you take your deep breath in and slowly let it out, you can feel the energy flowing through your body, flowing through your arms and your hands and your fingertips and moving down into your stomach, into your lower back, giving it all the oxygen it needs and releasing anything that is holding tension. You're going to keep taking your breath in and slowly letting it out and feel it flowing down into your legs, down into your feet and into your toes. Feel the energy moving through your entire body. And I want you to put your hand on your heart. And I want you to tell your heart, I know who I am. Take a nice deep breath in and slowly let it out. You can release your arm Bring awareness to any tension that you may have in your body at this time. As you're breathing in and slowly letting out your air, I want you to release the tension one spot at a time. I want you to imagine that tension just melting away. Give that tension permission to leave your body. It no longer needs to stay. Take a nice deep breath in. Slowly let it out. And once that tension goes away, again, I want you to imagine your whole body working and flowing together as it moves, as the energy moves in a unit. Take a nice deep breath in, slowly let it out, and I want you to slowly open your eyes, and again, 
bring your awareness to everything in the room. Bring your awareness to your feet, to your legs, to your torso, to your arms and your hands, and your neck and your head. And fill the room with your light. And again, I want you to ask yourself, who am I? And write down whatever you find that comes to your mind immediately. I wanted to do this exercise with you today. As I know, last week, we talked about beginning to overcome depression. And as I shared with all of you last week, it opened some doors for me for things that I had not quite yet released myself. And I discovered, I discovered this week that I had a lot more emotions hiding within my body that I was unaware of, that I had hidden away. And part of the reason why things were emerging so much this week was due to a class I'm taking right now that's about Alexander Technique for Singers. And I took this class as part of my way of teaching, especially vocal coaching, is very holistic in manner. It's very much about connecting our voices and being authentic in the way that we sing and learning how to sing with power and connection. But what I'm finding as I'm taking this course is it's a lot of self-awareness, self-awareness within the body. And as I am releasing things within my body, I have noticed a lot of this hidden emotion. And I really think I cracked the door open last week with the podcast about depression. And I would love for you to get on my Facebook page or to leave me a comment or review in iTunes or on my website, um, tuneinwithmolly.com or my Facebook group, Tune In With Molly. I would love to hear from you if that podcast about depression resonated with you. If there was anything in that podcast that resonated with you, and as you began to become clearer and more honest with experienced depression, with experiencing depression, if you are someone who has had it or know someone who has, did some emotion come up for you? And I know the biggest thing for me is it really had me questioning this week, who am I and what do I really want with life? What do I want out of life? And are the people that I've surrounded myself with, are they supporting me or are they just taking from me? And I've had so many realizations this week about what it is that I want, what it is that I don't want, and realizations of who I am or the person that I know that I am, that I'm working on showing more outwardly to the world. And I hope that this exercise today and this visualization and meditation to get you truly connected with you. I hope that this will support you in your journey of connecting with your most authentic self. Because 
That is what our souls are yearning for. Our soul wants us to be authentic. And when we are not authentic, that is when things do not go well in our lives. That's when we don't feel well. That's when we experience stress and anxiety and depression and fear and all of those terrible, disconnected things that we feel in our life. It is because we are not becoming or we are not walking on our path of true authenticity. And I know I talk a little bit about this with what is soul movement. This is something that I do in soul movement coaching as well with my clients is working on one-on-one with them in supporting them to walk down the path of becoming their most authentic selves. So today and for this week, I really want you to reflect upon who am I? And really embrace you. Thank you so much for listening. Have a beautiful and blessed week. Love and light to you. Thank you for tuning in with me today. If you are enjoying the podcast, please like it and share it with your friends and family. To learn more about my soul movement coaching, sound therapy, and other services, You can visit my website at www.tuneinwithmolly.com.